this is Housatonic Valley Regional High School. First of all, I wish my high school looked like that. And second of all, you guys are lucky because you're right on the Appalachian Trail. That's about the coolest place a high school could be. Doing some road walking right now. See you later, bye. Alright guys, it's May 10th out here right now and we're in uh, Connecticut, about to be in Massachusetts in like five miles, but record temperatures right now. It's 104 degrees out and I'm sweating my ass off, drinking a gallon of water every hour. No, I'm just kidding. It's like 85 out and it's still wicked hot. Believe me, I'm sweating my ass off still. But I just basically went for a swim in that little river back there. But, yeah, we're still loving it. <laughs> we're up here on Bear Mountain, tallest mountain in Connecticut. Behind me is uh, Massachusetts. Can't wait to uh, be over there. And I uh, just wanted to say, I love and miss you, Mom. I know it's Mother's Day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next Friday in Vermont. But you're the best mom ever, and I miss and love you. See you soon. Alrighty, guys. Walking here along the AT, of course. And I'm about to go off it. Because in the corner of my eye, I saw the best hippie shower ever. First of all, check this out. There's a nice little swimming hole in there. But what I'm about to show you is better than that. I'm about to take a free shower. Check this out. Oh yeah, homie, we even got a freaking shower head. <laughs> buddy. So I'm going to go take my clothes off and uh, we'll yeah, see you later. Right. Bye. Just had my hippie shower and I feel like a whole new man. I still smell like shit though, but check this out. We're in Massachusetts, baby! And look what someone said! Ten down, four to go! Get it! Don't you know I will, guy? Don't you know I will? Wicked pumped to be in uh, Massachusetts. Uh, it just feels great. Um, especially because my friend Crisada is from Mass. She's a mass hole. And uh, she's coming to hike with me soon, so I don't know. I'm just really pumped to be in Mass, and it's going to be a good time. I'll be in Vermont on Thursday. Yeah! Now we got to figure out how to cross this. Just signed into the Massachusetts uh, Trail Registry back there. And I read that some guy two days ago said to all the nobos, there's still snow in New Hampshire. Just remember that. Well, guess what, guy? I'm ready for it. It's nothing we haven't seen yet. And I hope there is still snow. Because I'll eat it all up. Woo! Get it done. First view of Massachusetts right here. Beautiful. Second view of Massachusetts. Five steps later. There's your blaze. And there's a fall. You don't want to do that.
Oh, I wonder what happened. We're up here on Mount Race. Massachusetts, baby. Alrighty, so I'm walking through a uh, really cool uh, forest right now, softwood forest, and um, the birds are talking, it's just really cool, but it's May 11th, and I stayed the night with uh, like, I don't know, probably like 25 Yale students at this shelter last night, and they're really cool, rowdy bunch, having a good time, so that's that's awesome that they're out here and uh, they shared some food and some beverages with me so that was really cool a great group of great group of uh, kids there but I haven't seen shitfoot in 0311 in around a week now and I thought they were two days ahead of me but I texted them uh, last night and it turns out they're actually behind me uh, which is really weird but I guess 0311 slipped on a river crossing and he's fully submerged himself and got all his gear wet and everything so he went into town and shitfoot followed him to uh, dry all that out so I guess I'm a little ahead of them they're supposed to catch up last night actually but they didn't so I think maybe I'll see him tonight but uh, who knows real nice day out though and it looks like we're coming up to a uh, field walk. Check it out. But Massachusetts for you. Beautiful so far. The Skeeters are out today and they're out to kill. And I feel really bad for the, uh, <coughs> for when the bubble comes through here through hikers because if they're bad right now they're gonna do some serious harm to the through hikers coming through here in like a month that's gonna suck for them hopefully it's not bad though all right so I've uh, gone off trail twice in this entire hike so far and I'm in Massachusetts, so I feel like that's pretty good. One of the times was at Tinker Cliffs in Virginia, and I followed like a trail that had been made that went below the cliffs when I had to go on top of them because it was a ridge walk or a cliff walk. But that was once, and then I did it one other time, I forget where, but back there was the first time I ever went the wrong way on the trail. I got to some view and I really don't know what happened but I took what I thought was a trail and it took me back around to the AT because I saw a blaze and then I went 15 minutes headed south until I recognized something and then I hiked back up to the view spot and I was like, what's going on? I was completely lost. And uh, I was trying to call my parents so they could look on my spot and tell me what way to go because I wasn't sure what way to go. And finally I figured it all out and got back going the right direction, I hope. But I should be at the shelter coming up here near Ice Gulch in Mass. And I hope so because I'm completely out of water seeing how I, you know, wasted half an hour back there. And it's like 90 degrees, if not hotter. The humidity is wicked right now. And there's no breeze. So I'm completely out. I just had my last sip. And I just want to jump in a river right now. But we're still loving it. Here's a little bit of Massachusetts for you folks. 
pretty beautiful. Oh yeah, just so you know, homie. Oh boy, we've spotted some live action, folks. <laughs> Check it out. What are you up to, guy? Huh? What are you up to? You know you're right in the middle of this dirt road, huh? I'm going to help you so you don't get run over. Come here, guy. I've done this before. Sometimes they pee on you. You got to hold them sideways. Here you go, guy. Oh, looks like there's a little trap there. You don't want to go on the trap. I'm going to put you in the other side. What are you up to? Go down there and play. Uh, there you go. Just helping turtles cross the road, that's all. It's May 12th and I uh, just stopped for a second at some Appalachian Trail trail parking. Oh yeah, just look at my map and a car passes me, turns around and a little kid comes out with uh, of the car with an apple and a kind bar. This is so nice. People are so nice. Um, so I really appreciate that. And uh, it's about to unleash. I've been really lucky with rain for a long time on the trail. But I can tell that it's about to unleash on me. I've got three and a half miles to go. I'm actually thinking about pushing past this next shelter and going to a guy's house in Dalton, Mass. Uh, his first name's Thomas. I think his last name's Lavardi, but I'm gonna try and push there. He said, "Yeah, I just called him. He has a porch that uh, has a roof and everything." So I'm gonna try and bust this out real quick before it starts pouring on me. But real nice people, love it. See you later. Bye. Alrighty, so it's May 13th, and I'm uh, walking through Dalton, Mass. Um, so yeah, last yesterday I pushed on to uh, Thomas Navardi's place. He's in the guide. Highly recommend that place. He was awesome. Uh, he hooked me up. I didn't even have to tent outside. He hooked me up with a mattress upstairs, and then he he uh, ordered pizza. nice Tempur-Pedic so he hooked me up all for free because it's not busy yet he's been helping hikers out for like I think it was like 33 or 36 years at his house right on the trail awesome guy thank you so much Tom really appreciate it back on the trail right now and it's like 40 something degrees out right now it's supposed to be in the 30s up in the It's so much better than that hot, high 80s shit. See you later, bye. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, I really got to go pee. See you later. Alrighty, guys. So I decided to get off the trail today and uh, try and hitchhike home. I'm going to surprise. I just got to ride a little ways, but got to find another one here. But gonna head home surprise my family surprise my girlfriend uh, I don't know the time was right this morning I got to thinking about it and I really want to see my mom and dad and my girlfriend 
I was gonna, I'm gonna see my mom and dad on the trail this weekend, but uh, my girlfriend and I couldn't figure out a time that we'd be able to see each other just with her busy schedule and me moving along. So yeah, get to see my little lady tonight, my mom and dad, wicked pumped. All right, we're back on the trail. It's uh, May 14th and everyone, everything went awesome yesterday. I hitchhiked back home. Oh, like halfway, then my dad picked me up, and I got to surprise my uh, my little lady. I I uh, jumped out from behind a tree when she got out of work, and uh, it was just awesome. Um, I'll never forget that. That was like the best surprise ever, and it was so good to see her. And uh, then I was gonna surprise my mom at home, but when I was about, I was gonna walk down the driveway. A road, but then she drove past me and saw me turned around, and um, so it didn't go according to plan with that, but it was still great. So I got to see my mom, and uh, I don't know, everything's just awesome right now. I'm wicked high on life. I got to see my family, my dogs, my goats, uh, my girlfriend, and now I'm back out on the trail, and I can smell Vermont. I'm like two miles south of Greylock and I can smell Vermont. If you've ever had like a real Christmas tree in your house, which we do every year, we Charlie Brown it. But um, and if you take a big whiff of that Christmas tree, that's exactly what Vermont smells like. It's beautiful. And uh, so yeah, we're almost to the long trail in Vermont and everything is just going great. I can't stop smiling. I lightened my pack a bit when I was home, and uh, I also picked up my dad's shuffle um, iPod. So I haven't been—I haven't listened to music at all on the trail, but I figured I'd give it a try and see how it goes. And if I like it, then I'll carry on with it. And if I don't, I'll just give it to my parents when I see them this weekend again. But everything's awesome. I love my life. See you later. Bye. Mount Greylock. <sighs> Highest peak in Massachusetts. Right before we uh, head into Vermont. Check out this view over here. Not a cloud in the sky. You can see forever. And look who it is. We're with Shitfoot again. What's up? What's up? Check that out. That's the bird, man. Yeah. Almost in vermin. See you later, bye. Early in the morning, rising to the street. Light me up that cigarette and no strap shoes on my feet. Dicky, 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 got to find a reason. Reason things went wrong. Got to find a reason why my money's all gone. Ooh, I've got a Dalmatian and I can still get high. I can play the guitar like a mother in fire. Bounce, 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 Yeah. Get it done. Alive and doing well, baby. Sugar pie, honey bun. Sugar pie, honey bun. 